IPAS brings together physicists, chemists, material scientists and biologists. What we're about is creating new measurement technologies that will seed industries, solve problems and create new insight into these areas of science. We really believe that some of the richest opportunities lie not just within the individual disciplines, but at the boundaries between them. And as a result, we've structured our research into six themes. These six research themes span from very fundamental curiosity-driven research to quite applied research. And we find that mixing these things together produces amazing outcomes. For example, quite often we'll take a very applied research problem and in picking it apart and trying to tackle it, we'll discover something very new and fundamental. Sometimes it goes in the more traditional way and fundamental research leads to applied research outcomes. So within IPAS, we focus both on that underpinning fundamental research excellence that allows new technologies to bud out of it we also solve real practical problems and try and draw on that rich base of fundamental technology and capability. The theme that we lead together is optical materials and what we're really about is creating new kind of materials that can control, guide, generate light in new ways. The other part of the theme is also to develop new technologies in making these glasses, processing these glasses and also making new types of fibres, which then can be used as fibre lasers, so that really the fibre itself generates a new kind of light. Other examples of outcomes from this theme are new sensor platforms in which we can control the light at the nanoscale and interact with liquids or gases to allow us to make measurements that previously were not possible. There is this rewarding thing of discovering a new materials, new glasses, and this is really where, where I draw the energy from to get over these times or so where maybe something doesn't work for a certain time, you have to figure out a solution to this problem. A lot of optical systems rely incredibly heavily on the light source. You create a new light source, you open a whole new generation of measurements. If you can develop a new light source, you can develop a new whole suite of measurement techniques and you can understand the universe or the world in a whole new way. Whether that be for studying the early universe through the detection of gravitational waves, through to the more practical here and now applications of sensing remote gas clouds or trying to find a virus in a little vessel of water. The real excitement is, I suppose, the palette we're working with at, at IPAS. Developing new concepts and techniques to produce coherent light. And all these requirements we want to put together to meet certain applications. And these applications range from defence through to uh, sensing, trace gas sensing, spectroscopy or medical applications. Laser surgeries are a very interesting emerging application. We've come up with a, with a platform to produce custom lasers in a very cost effective and mass producible way. And what we're aiming to do is to actually build these in, in Adelaide for export to the world. Lasers are the, the heart of all precision measurements. The light source is the key to everything. We're a synthetic chemistry group and so we, we work on, on, on making new molecules and one of the, the, the big drivers is trying to, to, I guess, to find materials that are, that are useful, uh, whether that be in, uh, in, in separation, perhaps for sensing, uh, and, and so we're always looking for that, that new target or that challenge that we can, we can, we can make some new material. One of the things we're working on at the moment is, is trying to make uh, materials that can selectively separate carbon dioxide from flue gas. So when you have a coal-fired power station, separate the carbon dioxide from that uh, mixture of gases and remove that and, and be able to store that or perhaps ultimately uh, convert that into something uh, useful like a fuel or a or building material. My dream is that IPAS can take crazy new ideas, make them into scientific realities and use them to solve problems. And in doing this, to create whole new industries and knowledge and insight and show how people working together from different backgrounds, different disciplines, with different languages, anything is possible. The thing we're involved in is chemical and radiation sensing. 
and that involves sensing a wide range of molecules in the environment or radiation effects in the environment. The chemical sensing side is looking at small concentrations of low concentrations of molecules in the environment, which could be organic or inorganic depending on the context and the project. The radiation sensing side is to look at radiation that's um, from ionising radiation sources that's been stored in minerals or materials, and we're using that either as means of monitoring recent events such as accidents such as Fukushima or for long-term storage such as dating for over thousands of years. And one of the really interesting things to emerge from this theme is that we're developing new materials and new architectures for measuring radiation. And this is a new kind of dosimetry, new radiation sensing that's really emerged from the expertise and facilities in luminescence and our optical materials and optical sensing technologies. In addition to that, within this theme, we do a wide-ranging um, suite of work in chemical sensing. One amazing example of how this theme works is encapsulated in the story of just one of our wonderful PhD students. He started working with Defence to develop a dipstick for the quality of fuel on an aircraft. He was measuring H2O2, hydrogen peroxide. We learned that the wine industry wants to measure hydrogen peroxide, so we started working to develop smart bungs for wine barrels. And that then evolved into what now is a vibrant and large collaboration with a medical device company and embryologists to use these same probes to listen to developing embryos. Our theme medical diagnostics aims to develop new methods to detect biomarkers for diseases and we're working especially on biomarkers for the early detection of cancer and we have discovered some biomarkers which are isoform specific and there we need different methods to separate them but also new methods to detect them more sensitively and that means we have to develop new detectors which are able to do that. This theme, Medical Diagnostics and Biological Sensing, brings together current state-of-the-art proteomics technologies for making measurements of medically relevant proteins that clinicians and biologists can use. But more than that, it's about developing the next generation of such technologies. And by physicists, chemists and, and biologists working together, we can create these new ways of measuring that will underpin tomorrow's treatments and diagnostics. Cancer is a massive problem in the health system and you the earlier we can detect the cancer, the better are the chances for survival. If you detect it early, the chances are as high as 90%. If you detect it later, the chances are as low as under 20%. Mm -hmm. and, and that's my motivation to come to work, to develop those tests, to screen people for the early diagnosis, that they can catch the disease early and they can be cured or their survival rate over the next five years is quite high. The theme that we're working on in remote sensing and IPAS is um, motivated by trying to understand uh, nature's extreme processes at the very far edge of our universe and also closer to home in the Earth's atmosphere. So we use uh, telescopes uh, to try and understand what kind of objects uh, might actually produce these particles. Learning about how the universe really works, you just can't help but be you know, swept up in it and think that's fantastic. And I got into gravity waves originally because I thought the experiment sounded impossible. So I got into it and then I thought, wow, this is amazing. And then I realised it was possible. And then you work on it and then you start realising all the cool things that can be done with it from an astrophysics point of view to really understand the universe. And the more technologies we can develop and spin off as part of this process, the better. And we're developing a host of new optical technologies that push the limits to enable this to happen. It makes me feel like I'm making a contribution to society in some sense, you know, you sort of learning things that no one's ever learnt before. The work of an institution like IPAS capitalises on the multidisciplinary approach, bringing together different areas of expertise in order to find new and novel ways of doing things. Here in IPAS, our aim is to not only nurture research excellence, but to seed new disruptive technologies that have the potential to be game changers in how we deal with global challenges. We will do this not only by investing in our six research themes, but by deliberately creating a new cohort of researchers who are not afraid to cross the discipline boundaries and to ask questions and learn new languages. And in this way, we believe that we can start to seed new industries that will solve some of these global challenges. <laughs>